Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a flip through of my November 2021 daily. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. So this might be a little bit of a chatty video, but I don't foresee it being too, too long. Uh, I will be showing you my progress so far in my November 2021 daily, which is in my Fobonichi, my kind of fake Hobonichi that I am testing out. I definitely have some thoughts of things that I'll be changing for December. Again, as you guys know, as I mentioned, I will be working out of a Hobonichi as of January. So uh, November and December are some good testers for me. And so what I'm doing is I'm keeping this in a folder and then I can just tuck it into my bookshelf and so that everything is all contained. I did eventually decide to do it this way where I just keep it closed with some clips. I got this bunched together because these are some of my bigger pieces. I did create these folders here. If you're interested in how I did this, let me know in the comments below. It's actually really quick to put together and I found this to be very helpful to hold some of my papers and some of my ephemera. And then for the actual journal, I'm just holding it with one of these super uh, paper clips that I've seen people use in their bullet journals. And yeah, that's the only reason that I purchased it. So let me put this to the side. All right, so this is what we had done on camera. We had done this as well. I did do a little bit of journaling and things underneath there. Again, I did spell November wrong, but you know, who cares? I also had done some journaling here and specifically this isn't so much journaling where I want to see a lot of text on the paper. Some of my others are very text heavy. This for me is just a way to play with some of my washi, my stickers, my papers, collage heavy. Um, and I don't know that I'll be doing any kind of doodling in here. I certainly have enough creative journals to do this. It's going to seem like there's a lot missing, but that's just the timing of it. At the end of the month, I'll show a complete flip of this but when I do my um, plan with me or my journal with me I'm going to show you that I want this to be something that I can do quickly because um, that'll motivate me to continue to keep doing it so again this is what we had done and this starts as of Monday the first now the main reason I wanted to do a daily journal is because I wanted to stop filming my lunches while I was at work. I film lunches and I've been doing that for probably over a year now uh, because it makes me feel like a Korean vlogger. So I just show you what I'm eating at work during my lunch. Sometimes I'll show breakfast more often than not these days, but it's hard to add to a video, especially if I'm only doing a video once a month because that's potentially between 15 and 20 days worth of inserting, editing, and all of that. And it was just driving me a little bit crazy. So I thought, you know what? I'll put it in my daily journal. Well, I'm telling you right now, once November ends, I'm going back to filming my lunch because I miss it. I miss talking about what I'm eating. It's not like I eat anything spectacular or anything particularly healthy, but one, the pictures don't do it justice. And two, that's not really what I want to go on in here because it's such, it's so jarring to me. It's like, oh, I've got leftovers, eggs and rice and some bean sprouts. But look at all the other prettiness. <laughs> it's just, it's weird. And so you'll see it on my work days. And then on the weekends, I do uh, pictures of other things. This I'm doing with my HP Sprocket. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize I wouldn't like it, but I'm definitely glad I tested it in here. So on Monday the 1st, I did have for my lunch menu, leftover rice with sausage gravy, egg scrambled, uh, sauteed carrots and bean sprouts. And that actually was really good. What I cooked during lunch is the bean sprout and carrot uh, saute, but everything else was leftover from the weekend. I did watch Army of Thieves. It is a prequel to Army of the Dead. I highly recommend it. There's just a smidge of 
zombie reference in it, but it's certainly not a zombie movie, but I thought it was hilarious. And then on the 1st of November, because I was still dealing with pain from coloring so much in October, I started uh, prepping the mystery bags that went on sale last week. And that actually was a very time consuming process. Tuesday, the 2nd of November, morning traffic going into work was horrible. It was so horrible. It took me almost an hour and a half to get to work. Yeah, that was super fun. The lunch menu was a kimchi bowl. I had some of that uh, bean sprout carrot saute left over, so that went on top. I went super fancy with a craft single and then some green onions, and that was lunch. It was quite tasty. And I only used half of the seasoning for the kimchi bowl because I find it very spicy. Uh, and even with just half of the seasoning, it was still very spicy. And then the other standout thing of the day was I did have my McRib for dinner. Uh, I've mentioned this in previous videos. I am not a fan of the McRib but it only comes out once a year and for a very limited time. So every year uh, it is my mission, whenever it does come out, to have at least one to confirm that yes, I do not like this thing. Now I did have half for dinner. I did have half for the following day for lunch. Now I actually jazz it up with more barbecue sauce, some pickled onions and some additional pickles and I found it delightful. But my family did point out that, you know, if you have to do that much to it, then you, you may just not like it. And, you know, I don't know that I do. But that was Tuesday the 2nd. For the 3rd, again, I did have the other half of the McRib. I also had uh, three chicken nuggets. The reason I left the box closed was one, because it says McRib, and two, it just looked horrible. <laughs> it looked horrible uh, when I was, when I had it open, I'm like, that's, I'm taking a picture, I'm putting in a journal. I mean, I'm not that girl, because I would have done that a lot better, but yeah, still. <laughs> that just looked a, a lot more effective, and then I did have a side of salad, the lunch menu, like I said, was half a McRib and some chicken nuggets. And I do mention that I kept the box closed more for the aesthetics than anything else. And then some of the standout things for Wednesday the 3rd was I did order some washi card bases from Amazon. I got them. I started making them because I have a ton of washi. And yeah, I didn't realize how time consuming and how much I would hate my life creating those things. So I got through, I think six or seven, and that's all I got through. And I'm gonna just do that every once and again. I would like to include them with some traveler's notebooks I'll be selling, but that's the project for next year. And so I'm not gonna stress over too much. And then this team bidet, <laughs> is an inside joke between me and my friend Andy. Uh, we had started texting each other and it just, it got hilarious. So that, that doesn't mean anything to anyone but to me and Andy, but I just, I had to put that in there. Like I told you guys when I was setting this up, I do want this uh, November daily to be browns and blues. And this is just my Pentel touch pen that I'm using. And I've got two different blue ones. And so I never know which one it is. And so that's why you'll see two different blues. But this is the one that I really want to use. On Thursday, November 4th, again, I'm, I'm never going to be that Instagrammer who can take the aesthetic pictures because really it's about function, not form. And so that's actually chili spaghetti with a hot dog on it and craft singles. It looks horrible, <laughs> but it was delicious. And then this is some leftover coleslaw from the night before and then a little tangerine. And then the standout things was I did pick up some snacks after work. If I'm going to pick up snacks, it's usually going to be Thursday afternoon on the way home because I generally work from home Mondays and Fridays. I generally don't leave or go anywhere on the weekends. And so if I'm going to snack up for the weekend, that's going to be my last opportunity to do that. I was annoyed by something that happened that evening um, but yeah that was enough for me to I know why I was annoyed but I don't need to write it down because generally actually I don't I don't read my journaling that's actually I think part of the problem with journaling for me is journaling 
is a way to put pen to paper. I like journaling about stuff that has nothing to do with my emotions. This is enough for me to know exactly what this means, but I don't need to dwell on it because I already have things stuck in my head. I don't need to revisit the annoyance. On Friday the 5th, I did take that as a vacation day, so it was still packing mystery bags. In fact, I didn't stop packing mystery bags, uh, compiling things together because I have things tucked away all around my room because when I had my Etsy shop open, I was a ready to ship and so everything I made had to be stored somewhere. Uh, but I did watch Army of the Dead. Again, Army of Thieves was a prequel. It's good. It's a zombie movie, so it's good as a zombie movie can be, but it's certainly not something I'm going to rewatch. Army of Thieves, I would certainly watch again, and I did give my little rating here. Uh, this was just a little page from a book that I had found in my collection. On the Saturday the 6th, I did watch Total Recall. I believe it's the 2012 version. I've also seen the Arnold Schwarzenegger version. I definitely liked this one better. And the entire weekend from Saturday and Sunday was about snacks, naps and netflix and then this is just a collage i like doing a two-page spread so they can play off of each other and as you can see i do like it better when it's not food related or it's not lunch related because you'll see that in just a second what i mean uh, Sunday the 7th, I did start uh, the first season of Altered Carbon. Now, the Joel Kinnaman, this actor right here, I wasn't a fan of his from Suicide Squad, and that's the only movie that I'd ever seen him in, but I really, really, really liked him in the first season of Altered Carbon. I actually was able to finish the first season on Sunday the 7th. Um, I said laundry and naps. It took me two hours to fold laundry and it's not that I have a ton of laundry it's just um I don't know if I was just super tired or super bored with it but I kept taking naps so I'd fold a few things and then I would fall asleep <laughs> I'd fold a few things and then I'd fall asleep so yeah that was a really good Sunday though uh, Monday the 8th, I did make kimchi bowl fried rice with sunny side egg and tomato salad. I realized that I can put some text on the picture. Again, not necessary because I do write this in my uh, Stology for my work, so I know exactly what I have for lunch. But this was actually a new to me recipe where you take a kimchi bowl and you crush up the ramen because it's an instant ramen. Uh, so you crush it up into little pieces, you pour in the seasoning packet, you cover it just with enough water to cover the noodles, and then you microwave it for a few minutes. Meanwhile, you saute or you scramble some egg and some rice, and then once your microwave noodles are softened you stir that up really good just to stir in the seasoning and then you dump all of that into your fried rice I'd seen that on YouTube wanted to try it I definitely would eat it again but I think I had too much rice to the ramen ratio so it actually wasn't as flavorful as I thought it would be but it was delightful I also did get my HP sprocket on Monday the 8th. So all of this actually did not start. Well, no, I was doing some of the collaging up until that point, but I couldn't put down any of the pictures until I got my HP sprocket. And I am really enjoying that. And then... Is this the last one? Yeah, so this is the last one that I've done. Again, uh, in the next video that I'm gonna be doing by way of filming, I'm gonna be setting up Thursday and Friday. Again, I like to do a two page spread. On Tuesday, the standout was, uh, I did get to go to Ala Moana. It's a mall here uh, in Hawaii, and I was able to go to Barnes and Nobles, Somi Somi, C's and Auntie Annie's. Uh, yeah, those three places are food related places and then that's the bookstore. Somi Somi, they make uh, to order these taiyakis. It's basically like a waffle outside and then you can get different fillings on the inside. Um, over the course of two different days, I tried Nutella filling was amazing um sweetened red beans which i had hot which was superb and then the custard i had that the next day and 
it was okay, but I think that might have been something that's better while it was hot. Uh, the lunch menu was actually leftovers from the night before. We had beef stroganoff hamburger helper. There's a tomato salad and then a small applesauce. And then this is just a picture of the little mini pretzel bites as well as pretzel dogs. That's actually what I had for dinner that night. Uh, some pretzel dogs and the red bean taiyaki. I don't go out often and when I do it's usually to usual places Target Walmart to the bank just running errands kind of thing and so it was really nice to go to Ala Moana it's always nice to go to Barnes and Nobles but having tried at least this one this was absolutely new to me and then being able to go there and go inside was just nice. And this isn't just because of the pandemic, even pre-pandemic, uh, things are just difficult for me to get to. And because I had a ride there, uh, yeah, it was, it was a really good night. Traffic on Wednesday the 10th going in was again, it was just, it was really bad. Um, but once I was there, it was fine. For lunch, I did have kimchi and a spam musubi uh, that they were selling out of the cafeteria. I would definitely eat both of them. Uh, the portion that they gave for the kimchi was quite large. So this is only half of it. And I ate most of it and I tossed the rest. The other half I did save in a container that I had at work and it's in the fridge. Spam musubi, if you're not aware, is a bed of rice. This one had a bed of um, or some sprinkling of furukake, which is some seaweed, some salt and some sesame seeds. Then there was a piece of spam wrapped in nori, which is also seaweed and so it's very savory um, but it's quite tasty. Uh, that's the very first time that I've had it from them. Usually I'd like to eat musubi for breakfast, but they don't serve it for breakfast, so that's why I had it for lunch. And then after work, um, on the way home, because Thursday was a holiday, so this was my last out outing for the day or, or for the week, um, I did have magnolia chocolate ice cream with sprinkles. Now I've had magnolias often. It's a Filipino ice cream parlor chain that does holo holo. I'll insert a picture here. Um, if you've never experienced it, it's quite an interesting experience, but they also make really good ice cream. Now, I would definitely recommend vanilla ice cream with sprinkles because then you can taste the vanilla of the sprinkles because the chocolate was so flavorful. I couldn't actually taste the sprinkles, but it did add a nice crunch, so I definitely would have that again. And then we went to H Mart uh, to pick up some it's, it's like a Korean, at least this one is a Korean Filipino food store that's near my work. And so we just, we stopped here and then we stopped here. And then I can't remember what we did after that. I think we actually picked up dinner. I think it was Taco Bell. Yeah, I think it was Taco Bell. And that's it. And I plan to do the same thing. Uh, there are definitely some things that I'm going to be logging here. Uh, Thursday was a holiday, so there's not going to be any food pictures, but there will be one on Friday. Again, I only put a food picture if one of two reasons. Either it's my lunch, so I'll definitely do that during the work week, or it's standout things like this where... That kind of makes sense to me. And going forward in December, I will start resuming filming my lunches again because I'm actually changing how I'm going to be planning on a weekly basis starting in December. But if there's any standouts like this, then I'll add them into the daily. This daily is just really for me to play and also to just sort of, even though I don't feel like I have a very exciting life, no. I absolutely do not have a very exciting life. That doesn't mean that there isn't uh, small wins and just a little bit of happiness here and there. Yes, it does seem to revolve around food a lot. <laughs> food and, and Netflix. Food and, and watching movies. Hmm. Maybe I should reflect on that. Uh, probably not. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.